Hey my friends, it's Dr. Josh Levitt here. I am at the office and I want to share with you a case history, a short little story of something I just saw in the office recently uh, that I think will be of great interest to you. So the short story here is that I saw a woman who has a long-standing history of rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory disease and also cardiovascular disease as well. This woman is, is not well. It's a sort of a, a, a difficult case. Um, but nonetheless, with the combination of her chronic inflammation and her cardiovascular disease, she developed an ulcer. An ulcer on the skin is what I'm referring to. So about a year ago or so, she had bumped her lower leg on a piece of furniture or something, and it opened up her skin, sort of a wound that you would expect to heal rather quickly. But because of her ongoing inflammatory problem and also her cardiovascular disease, this area does not get, uh, does not heal the way that it should. And so here we are, close to a year later, and there's still a rather large but non-infected open wound on, on her lower extremity. So this is a big problem. We call this a non-healing ulcer. And there's been all sorts of different doctors that have weighed in with creams and lotions and potions to try to to try to help this thing heal, uh, and without very much great success in her. So the last time that I saw her, which was a couple of months ago now, I made an unusual suggestion, and my suggestion was for her to go to a health food store and buy herself a jar of honey, manuka honey, M-A-N-U-K-A, -A, manuka honey, which comes from New Zealand and has quite a load of medical research on it for or the healing of wounds like this. So she was rather shocked at the suggestion, of course, you know, that she's gonna go uh, to a health food store and buy a sweetener and pack this wound full of the sweetener, but she trusted me nonetheless. I've taken good care of her through the years and she took my advice. So she went home, uh, picked out the Manuka honey and took about a half a teaspoonful and filled that ulcer with the Manuka honey, covered it with gauze like I suggested, and then wrapped it up. And she repeated this process day after day. So I just recently followed up with her and although the ulcer was not healed completely, it was dramatically better, probably at least 75% improved, much, much smaller. The edges were sort of moving in towards the center, and this thing was clearly on its way to recovery. So this was an unusual, but actually well-validated treatment uh, for non-healing ulcers and skin and all sorts of other problems. So think about Manuka honey the next time you encounter uh, even a small superficial wound. It can be remarkable stuff. Uh, I've written a lot on the subject uh, of Manuka honey and its application in health and medicine. So I hope that helps you, the story of the healing ulcer with Manuka honey. And take good care, everyone.